we have to congratulate them once again. Um, the boys have been working really, really hard. We've been pushing them really, really hard. Uh, we know their levels. We know what, what they can bring. Um, and that's what they did today. And uh, I told them if the boys are courageous, if they show hunger, I'm sure every opponent will have a difficult day against us. And um, we are very happy. We are very happy with their performance. Very happy for them because they deserve it, because they've been working really hard. So very proud. Uh, I think we had full control over the game. Um, created enough chances. Unlucky with a penalty. Um, gave one goal away as a gift. But uh, the response was fantastic and the boys worked really hard. And they really wanted to prove something today. And they did. I mean, we were not happy with the, with the draw, so we were ready to go all out. We spoke to the boys, we told them what is, what is at stake. I mean, uh, this is a stage for you to market yourself. And uh, wearing the national colors is more than anything. And so far as we are hosting this tournament, we told them we have to win it. And uh, I'm not surprised today they give their best out. I think uh, even Messi misses chances. Um, scoring three goals today, um, it could have been four, it should have been four, but uh, we were happy. So for me, we had full control over the game. So even missing that penalty um, didn't cause us to panic. We just had to wake them up a bit and um, they responded well. So it was a fantastic response. Uh, not really. I think um, we changed shape a bit. We went to a back five. Um, because we felt that Aaron, our left uh, centre-back uh, of the back three, was having cramps. So we needed to support him. And Kufo, uh, our captain, also had uh, an injury issue. So we had to change him as well. So obviously when you're playing a back five, um, you can't come out a lot. Uh, but with our fast players up front, I think we made, we made it up. And um, uh, not too much pressure. It's just the shape that needed time to, uh, to adjust, basically. It's not only this tournament, I think it's a, it's a process. Um, with our current president, um, you know, Mr. Kurt Okreku is very, very, very hungry and determined to make sure that the right players, local or abroad, get the opportunity they deserve. So if these boys show quality and consistently, it's not only uh, this tournament, but consistently. And uh, being a Black Star player is not, okay, winning one tournament and expecting you to, to become a Black Star player. No, it's, it's a lifestyle, it's, it's, it's a mentality, it's, it's, it's so much more. So, yes, we are keeping tabs on these boys. We have plans for these boys, uh, all of them. And um, if they are ready, surely they'll get the chance. And Des and I were talking to them. I mean, it's 2-0. Normally, what you have to do, you have to manage the game. You're supposed to kill the ball, but then, you know, sometimes... And when they are on the pitch, they try to do something on their, uh, on their own. So they were kicking long ball and then the ball were coming. So uh, we have two, three players that we need to sacrifice because I'm sure their legs are gone. And that's why we did those changes. Sometimes in football, as soon as you do changes, sometimes it affects your team a bit and then they'll bounce back. I'm sure that's what happened. As a footballer, when you are playing, you see a lot of fans like this. I mean, it gives you energy. And we thanks for what they did and I hope on Friday they will be here in their numbers as well.